If you're among the network engineers who doubt that AI is coming for your job, you might want to think again. In addition to being able to generate configs, troubleshoot network issues, and create automation scripts for provisioning devices, ChatGPT can now interpret and extract information from network diagrams. OpenAI has recently released Vision, its brand new image analysis feature, for its ChatGPT Plus subscribers. Users can now upload images to the app and get the AI assistant to examine them. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use this new ChatGPT ability for network engineering purposes. Before we proceed, a word of caution. Make sure to consult and follow your company's policy regarding generative AI tools. Uploading private, sensitive data to cloud-based AI systems is a substantial risk that must be carefully considered. Let's start by checking what kind of useful information we can derive from an already existing network diagram. In the default mode, on the left side of the input bar, you'll find the Attach Images button, which you can use to upload your pictures. We're recording this demo on a PC, but in the phone app, you can choose between uploading an existing picture or taking a new one. We're going to use a simple three-stage leaf spine topology with Juniper QFX switches. Let's try to come up with a real-life scenario, let's say, listing all loopback IPs in JSON format and see if ChatGPT can help us with this task. The answer is yes. The AI bot was able to provide the required data in the desired format. We can even tweak the host names to our liking, eliminating the hardware models from the suggested device naming. But what if we wanted to generate a bill of materials for this topology, and instead of manually counting the number of required SFPs, we would ask ChatGPT for the answer. As we can see, ChatGPT was able to differentiate between the 100 gig SFPs and the 10 gig SFPs based on the interface names listed in the diagram. Moreover, it was able to correctly display the total number of required SFPs, in a structured format. For the next challenge, let's start with a basic napkin-style diagram and see if ChatGPT can provide us with the required information in order to turn it into an actual network design. As we can see, it generated correct allocations for the private autonomous system numbers and also the required point-to-point -point and loopback IP addresses. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just forget about Visio and instead just ask ChatGPT to generate all our diagrams from scratch? ChatGPT now includes the DALI 3 text-to-image AI model, so let's see what we can create. Finally, something that ChatGPT can't do. It generated some surrealist results which aren't just incorrect, but also completely illegible. These hallucinated artifacts are so far away from being useful that it would seem very easy to argue that traditional network engineering skills are under no real threat. However, given the astounding progress that generative AI has made in the last two years, it might be just a matter of months before we'll have AI tools capable of generating complete network diagrams from scratch. In addition to reading network diagrams, the OpenAI bot can currently also perform many other tasks which are associated with a network engineering skill set. One example is generating configuration from scratch. Given an existing firewall filter, which is basically the Juniper equivalent of a Cisco access list, ChatGPT is perfectly capable of creating a new term based on our instructions. Not only is ChatGPT able to generate network configs, but it can also create automation scripts in order to make changes on network devices. We'll use a simple test case, modifying the time zone on a single device. As we can see, ChatGPT generated the full Python script, and the nice thing is that if you have any doubts about particular statements in the code, you can just ask, and the AI assistant will gladly explain. Due to their high-complexity, high-impact nature, 
networks have been traditionally slow to adopt automated workflows, especially when compared to other IT domains. However, given the rapid pace at which generative AI is developing, it is highly likely that it will soon have a massive impact on traditional network engineering as we know it. What do you think about the possibility of AI replacing network engineers? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment, and if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.